So hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. As I mentioned in the introduction video, I'm going to be coming to you with tidbits of information which I think could perhaps help you as you go along. And today I have your first tidbit of information. And I want to talk... So often we find ourselves doing things automatically with no thought, uh, with unconscious patterns that prevail in our lives that in fact have a larger impact than we realize. And today I want to briefly expound upon one of these things. If you're frustrated with someone else, what does it actually mean for you? Yeah, if you feel things are not moving, uh, I want to suggest to you that you just try to change one thing about your thinking. So thinking is basically your routine. It's an unconscious cycle and it's falling into random, well-developed thought patterns. But it doesn't allow you to create change or movement. So if you change your thinking routine or your pattern, you, if you change the root of your thoughts, what you'll find is that you will understand your situation differently and be able to have a different grasp, a different handle on it. And with that comes an alternative understanding. And with the different understanding, various solutions present themselves. So if you're stuck thinking about something in a particular way and you can't seem to find a way out, take a moment to observe your thoughts and take note of the trajectory of your thoughts. In which way are your thoughts flowing? From where does it come from? And from here you can choose what it is that you can adjust, whether it be a slight adjustment or adjustments that sometimes feel like you need to tear yourself out of a comfortable routine. Sometimes the adjustments may also feel quite organic. And this will lead you to discovering and uncovering different aspects of yourself and being able to see the situation differently. And that's when things start to shift. That's when you have the change that you desire. How does the shift occur? By changing the way in which you think about it, you're injecting fresh energy into the situation at hand and it's bringing new life into it. It's breathing movement into it and it can't possibly stay the same. It has to change, it has to shift. So you don't really have a choice about it by simply thinking about things differently. The whole situation will change. An example of this, perhaps somebody you were waiting for, you find yourself always waiting for them and you almost expect that they will be late. What you can do is when you are next expecting them, you can think about them in a different way. Don't think they'll probably be late because they always are late. Don't feel sad or irritated or resentful that they are late. Rather, try to focus on something else about that person or try to focus on something positive about that person and try to have faith and belief in that person. Then you'll find that that person arrives and they will arrive perhaps early or they will arrive sooner than you actually think they will arrive. You'll, what you're actually doing is you're infusing the situation with love. You're infusing the situation with a kind of prayer in which allows you to believe in the best that you can about that person. And therefore, that person has the space to actually act in a way that is going to bring out the best in them. In a way, when we think about people in a limited way, it limits their possibilities and their way of being able to create or to simply do things in this world and this life. So if it's a situation concerning others where you do feel you don't have any control, then you won't necessarily have control or persuasion of the outcome. But if it's a situation that's within your control, then you can find that you have a revival of energy new approach, renewed vigor, and ability to create from a new place. And this is what we're looking for. This is, we want this stimulation. We want this fresh energy and this fresh burst of, of life in us to give us that boost, to move things along. Because a lot of people are struggling because they don't have fresh ideas or they're stuck with the same situation and they are bogged down with it. And so the the question is, how can we move beyond that? And very often, even if we can't change our circumstances outside of ourselves, what we can actually do is be able to change the way in which we think about it. And this is what I'm suggesting to you. And often we think about things without being conscious of it. So I'm suggesting to you that you become conscious of how you think. You, you learn to observe your thoughts and in that way, being more in the moment and being more cognizant of time as it's passing by and not being lost in thought in, in a series of thoughts that are leading you as opposed to you being in control of your thought patterns and you controlling where you are headed to in your mind as well as in your life. So that's your life tip for today. I hope that's been helpful for you and I hope that's going to uh, assist you as you go along. Let me know what you think about this and uh, get, do give it a try and see whether it works. I hope that's been helpful and I'm wishing you all the best and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.